Hi there, <clears throat> this is Paige with Stamp Girl here on YouTube and welcome to my channel. In this video I'm sharing with you some alternative cards I made using the September Paper Pumpkin Kit. This one is called Hello Pumpkin. And uh, this kit, I'm sure you've seen videos of people unboxing this kit and showing their alternatives, but this kit was truly just stuffed with things to use and I barely made a dent in it. So um, the kit comes with a stamp set. I have some of the stamps on blocks because I'm still um, trying to make some cards. The kit was designed to make these little um, cracker boxes for treats, to make 20 of them, and so there were these pre-scored and cut um, double-sided papers um, to make those little cracker boxes. I didn't really need any of those, so I'm using mine for cards. So I have a ton left. Um, I think there were 20 of them. Yeah, and so I barely made a dent. These are a couple scraps from one that I've cut up that I can still use on some cards. These are some of the um, negatives from the pieces that I punched out. I was going to throw them away, and then my friend Deb, Deb Hawks Crafty Cottage, showed an idea of how she used these little um, frame pieces. So I pulled them back out of the garbage and I'll be casing her card ideas for these. Then on the Paper Pumpkin Fan Club Facebook group, somebody had shared how they organized all their pieces after they punched them out. And it was an idea that they had seen from somebody who used this idea a previous year for a kit. And so I just followed the directions to make a bunch of little tiny boxes. They're glued right to the cardboard, the chipboard that comes in the kit. Um, all the elements are, are on this chipboard to keep them sturdy and so they don't get bent and then they're wrapped tightly in plastic. And so I always save these chipboard pieces. Well this time I used it for um, storing all my little pieces. So after punching everything out, which is a ton of stuff as you can see, I just placed the parts in um, the little individual boxes that I made. These were punched out from the little um, treat boxes. They were cute diamond shapes and some of them, by the way I cut them, turned out to be cute little bow tie pieces. So I'm saving those as well to use on future cards. But yeah, I have a ton of stuff left. So let me share a, a few alternative cards that I made. This one is a card that's meant to display to stand up on a table or shelf. And the idea came to me from one of the cards that um, Sam, who is Mixed Up Craft, designed. Um, I can't remember if she calls it a tower card or something, but anyway, um, I took that idea and used it on um, the cracker box. So this is one cracker box, punched out the diamonds, um, used the score lines to fold in a different way, and then I decorated the front with the elements from the kit. Then I also decorated the back side. This one says, Have a Happy Halloween. And then this one is, Hello Pumpkin. So that's one of my cards. Um, I did several that followed this card layout. So I have a white card base. I used a embossing folder in the background. Here I used some ribbon from my stash. I kind of went with that whole diamond thing going on. So this is kind of a diamond um, pattern back here, diamond ribbon, and then this gingham check, and then the elements from the, from the kit. 
And then the inside, I just use some washi tape from my stash to help get rid of that because I have too much. And then these two, um, I use the same ribbon from my stash and I was able to use it up. These two use an embossing folder that is um, like a candy stripe. And then the rest is elements from the kit and more washi tape on the inside. And then these next two cards were also inspired by um, Sam, who is mixed up crafts. So I embossed a piece of Cajun Craze cardstock. Actually, I glued this on and embossed everything together. So this is embossed as well, and it's um, kind of a wide um, plaid embossing folder. And then some elements from the kit. And this is a um, borderline sticker. And then when you open it up, the cracker box is used on the inside as a pop-up. And the intention was to get these little things to to pop up a little bit more. It's been sitting flat for too long, so they're not really cooperating right now. But um, And then this Hello Pumpkin Cluster will just um, pop out. And then this is one of the tags from the kit. I just put it down here as a place to sign your name. So there's that one. And then I also did the same thing with the reverse side of the um, cracker box and made this card. And it also pops up. Now this one pops up, this was the first one I made, so I think what I did is I stretched it a little too far um, so it doesn't pop up as nicely as the second one does, but here's my little element that is in the middle. So those are fun to make. So I've got those two done and these three and this one, and then for the last card I have to share, I used this die set from the Stamps of Life. It's a candy corn folded die set. Um, I ordered it on HSN, came with a little idea booklet, the dies, and then also it came with some alphabets shaped like candy corn, which was really cute. But anyway, I um, I made the folded card, decorated it with a lot of elements from the paper pumpkin kit. I went over the faces and the flowers and leaves with just a dab of um, Wink of Stella, I guess I'm trying to say. This is from the die set with the candy corn, and that's popped up. And then the inside is blank. Just I added some white to write the message on. So. so anyway, those are my alternative cards that I have made so far. I have tons of stuff left. I know what I'm going to do on going to make four cards using these leftover negative frame pieces. So I've got an idea for that. And I've got all of these to cut apart or use as is or work through in some way. And on the back of the instruction sheet, they give you step-by-step -step instructions on how to make the project as intended. But they started to, on the back of these, give you some alternative ideas. So I've got those to um, give me some ideas as well. So anyway, that is my share for the Paper Pumpkin Kit for... Um, September. I'm looking forward to the kit coming up in October. I'd like to thank you for joining me, and now I'm off to create.